Okay, disconnects suck. I'm just gonna reload the scene. Let's redo the scene again. Now I feel obligated to, you know, continue the stream because the video got cut short. I don't want this to be a few minutes long. Wagner! You have come. I've been waiting for you. Where is the Shadow Knight? I told you. He is gone. I defeated him. <laughs> you? Trembling before me? You can barely stand upright in this cold weather. Do you not see the cipher in my hands? It was passed down from my mother. I speak the truth. You have nerve, child. To show me the very weapon that killed my friend. You may not be able to scratch a single scale, but you have earned my wrath. You claim to have defeated the Shadow Knight. Very well. Let me test you. And it seems like I've got a lot of drop frames. Well, let's go pick on the dragon. Really need to find a lot more carrots. I we had not a problem with the other routes. But I've been healing a lot more with Mercedes. able to watch okay And also this. I didn't even pay attention to HP. I thought I had more to go. Nice. Please don't get angry. Please calm down, Wagner. The Shadow Knight is in the Netherworld. He would never harm dragons. That is a fine thing for you to say. You, who treat brilliant and noble dragons like dogs. Well... Um, that dragon. An impudent, stupid girl like you will never serve as queen. Ouch. But your weapon is indeed powerful. 
I can believe you killed the Shadow Knight. I can say with confidence, the Cyphers are truly a threat to us. We cannot ignore the threat. Do not think it's over. I promise not to use this bow for evil. Well then, what will you use it for? To defeat the Demon Lord. Very well. You foolish jewel handlers should destroy one another. It's impossible. Huh? Rock? Your cipher is no match against the Demon Lord's Baylor. <laughs> Frogs aren't built for cold places like this. But I'm glad you're safe. You followed me here? Froggy? A way to win against the Demon Lord's Baylor? Hmm. The exceptional blacksmith, Brom, who made your bow and a Belder Reaver. He might be able to forge an even more powerful weapon. But Melvin sent him to the Netherworld while he was still alive. If he is alive, can we bring him back from the Netherworld? A horrible idea. That world is so terrifying that not even Beldor would willingly go there. And Beldor is missing. Bringing Brom back is an impossible feat. You really want to go against the Demon Lord's Baylor? Frog! You're better now! I finally warmed back up. I nearly went into hibernation until the end of the world. Well, since I saved you, our kissing deal is off. But that's different. I never asked you to save me. You saved me on your own. You promised me a kiss. What? Go back I shouldn't have saved you. Well then, as a reward, I'll tell you about Beldor. Beldor is one of three sorcerers known as the Three Wise Men. The three of them must be together right now, having a grand time. I know of the place they use as headquarters. Where is it? Titania's sewer system. How do you know this, Frog? One of the three sorcerers, Urza, turned me into this frog. Let us pardon Beldor's treason and ask him to help us. Send messengers to Titania. I'm sure everything's gonna go nice and smooth. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. So we're gonna do one more battle, then we'll call it a night. Since it's only been over, a little bit over two hours. And froggy. Everything is going to be nice and smooth and tight here. You about the three wise men, hmm? I used to listen to them once in a while. The demon lord Odin. Years ago, he hid his status and worked for them as a servant. I let him help me out once in a while, too. But he deceived the wise men 
and stole the secrets of the jewels. The wise men were absolutely furious, but I was stunned. I mean, this was the boy who had been sweeping my floors. Well. There are too many people who go to the netherworld before they die. For one thing, it's almost impossible to breathe that dismal and depressing air. <laughs> you think you know everything. Near the netherworld, a system of caverns turns into a labyrinth that makes it impossible to navigate. It is said that even if someone makes a map, the queen erases it with a thought. I see. It seems that the demon lord knows of a path from this world into the netherworld. And that is why the queen of the dead holds him in such contempt. Hey, aren't you the queen? I've heard about you. My cousin's been spending time in your country. <laughs> We got some milk and let's get these stuff. Let's buy away. And enjoy our Puka Village meal. Welcome! What can I get you today? Uh, this provides good XP yield. With pleasure. Bon appetit. Will this be all for you? No. Let's numb on some pancakes now. Mercedes, I'm nervous. This is my first time visiting a human town. We don't see fairies often. If you're just visiting, buy a souvenir. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, people to talk to in this town. But we're not getting anything here. You. This way, your majesty. How odd. I wrote to the king of Titania about our impending visit. Why are we being led through these side streets and not directly to the palace? Urza, one of the three wise men, is the king's close aide. This insult may be his. We are surely being tricked. Why would Beldor want to deceive me when I'm offering to pardon him? He feels no guilt, nor does he want your blessing. I think we should go back before we end up regretting our actions. I think he will understand if we speak to him. He was very loyal when he served my mother. But will he be honest? You doubt him too? You need to understand that not everybody is bent on serving or protecting you. You're mouthy for a frog. Why did you bother coming along, huh? Your Majesty! Because I'm worried. Uh. Well. Uh. Uh. Diplomacy has failed. I think so far every chapter 4 dungeon starts with a mid boss fight right in the beginning. Cornelius as well.
right, let's send up the pixie. Not too bad. Not at all. You could grow these seeds anywhere. Okay, this is the music I was expecting in Cornelius' chapter, but I guess it's different for the final chapters. And I was looking at the soundtrack for the remastered version with the new songs. It seems there's two versions. Like a different song plays out, you know, in, the per in each character's final chapter of whatever the regular dungeon is. I completely forgot what the underworld says. The other world sounds like for Gwendolyn. It was a different Titanic theme for Cornelius. And it's probably going to be a different theme for Mercedes in her uh, final chapter. Just little bonuses. I don't even know I'm spending on it. I have something. This seems promising. And a trading magic bullet that cost cow. And we got a key thing. Oh, well, let's do set up to this. I don't really use foes and burst that much, anyways. Oh, that's nice. I actually meant to use a different skill, but this is good enough. That worked out. Mean you recipe. Then went the other way, but you know, felt like I just want to stick to one direction.
Welcome to more. Oh, I'm so glad there's a. I see you up. Now then, what do you want to order? Let's have some cheesecake. Very well. Leave it to me. Have some of this. Two of them, in fact. Very well. We Sorry for the wait. Is there anything else? You Very well. Leave it to me. Get a few level ups. Is there anything else you want? Thank you very much. I saw you in the forest. I wanted you to meet my two little brothers. Yeah, you look familiar. We'll grab more uh, healing potions if we really need to. We got a few things to do in this level. It shouldn't be too long. Oh boy, the slime ones. Avoid the bouncing part, right. Though it's way easier on Mercedes than Cornelius. to bounce out of here and set them ablaze.
Man, I don't have much material or, you know, healing stuff. What are alternatives for uh, the potions? Healing tonic. Material plus spoiled fruit. Okay. Do we even have any left? Yep. I feel like other times I just get way too many, you know, materials, but this time I feel like I get way less. Yep. Nope. Not fully healed, but let's give it a shot. about some more alchemy. I don't like cycling too much, so we're just gonna do the other thing. And get rid of the mulberries. The um, other oh, other folks on prism here. Underwater passage where the merchant is. Iron blocks. Bars blocked by the pot. Okay. Is there any underwater? Um, any other underwater passage? Almost 
though with the level that didn't really take that long. Wait, you're not the queen, are you? What are you doing here? You came to shop? Seriously? I was really confused. And this equipment's a little out of date. That was easy enough. Oh wait, that's the small bag. Oh, maybe that's the carrot. Yes. We need more of those. Well, let's dine with some Mori. Anything else you want to order? I await your further. Okay, back to shooty shooty. Surprise, it's material plus milk. Okay, where's the secret? Doesn't really show. Yeah, where's the hidden room? Okay, that over there, I see, I see. I overlooked that. earlier. Okay, there we go.
Manage for March. That sounds a little too situational and I need them too much. Sounds like it could also be fun though. I should have probably should have done that a little earlier. Oh yeah, Cornelius' ball tackled. That was something special. That was great. I didn't try that one yet. I should level that next. Just in case. And the thing I need. Okay, boss time. After this boss, I'm definitely calling it night. Your Majesty. Let's make a deal, Veldor. As my messengers informed you, I will pardon your crimes on some conditions. Release Matthew, and show me your route to the Netherworld. Queen Mercedes, your courage, ambitious nature, and your purity are virtues. But you are a poor leader. Everyone you keeps are reckless, down. inattentive, and prone to being deceived. So you won't help me? Tis not a bad idea to have the Demon Lord and the Fairies wipe each other out. But I have another mission I must attend to. But until then, let me provide a little more chaos and confusion to Ringford. Let's hear your true name. Hold it. Move, and the dwarf dies. Come, Belial. Okay. Swallow this little fairy. What's wrong? Don't you understand? You cannot resist me! How can you force someone to serve you? Tis an honor for a dragon to be enslaved to a wise man. I will continue to keep your heart bound with magic. <laughs> you fool! Now, go! Fool, how dare you defy me? He's just resting. I retract my offer. I no longer plan to pardon you. This is a better end. <sighs> Useless oaf. Belial. Do not worry about me. I cared for humans, and this is my fate. Worry not, fairy. I won't let him get away. Baldor! Baldor is not uh, such a loyal servant. So, Scaldi hasn't returned from the Inferno King's home. And Urza seems busy dealing with the King of Titania. I'm lucky you're split up. How dare you, frog! Aha! Ursa ordered you here, correct? The enemy will soon be here! Here she comes! 
the evil fairy who cursed this kingdom. Stop right there. Well, we gotta beat up a not so loyal servant. Let's try some of these abilities. This. We don't have any major of it. Floors on the floor, though. Boss fight, at least. slide too much. Since it just doesn't go away after one hit. Mercedes turned into her worst enemy. Well, we don't have a uh, metamorphosis. Oops. Uh, what was it again? So let's just kind of run away for a bit. I see the meter right before the the PP. Uh, uh, maybe this is our karma for killing all those frogs. Oh, 
so close. But we did it. I can't let you do that. How's that, sorcerer? You'll never be able to use that magic now. Tis the Puka's curse. You will never be human. Well. What? Your Valentine. I I think I overdid it, but even as a frog, I managed to cast that. Frog. That skinny rabbit there is Belda's final form. And with this, I am done. Now go. Before he wakes up. Look at you. The sorcerer is defeated. Good work, queen. Be careful, I could still poison you. Wait. Oh, she kissed the frog. And he's a pretty boy. Queen Mercedes. Thank you. Oh, she's, You're... she's blushing. I'm the Prince of Valentine. Although I am finally able to show you my true form, I must bid you farewell. What? But wait. Uh, I I can't succeed without you. You're here for revenge. What? Well, of course. You have duties as a queen. I have my own duties as well. I want to protect you, but I cannot grant that wish. You're still indecisive, but you will be a good queen. That reminds me, you should go on alone. Wait! I don't even know your name! I am Ingwe. We shall meet again. So, in Cornelius's chapter uh, story, Ingwe seems a lot more like a is much more of a jerk, but he's way more likable in Mercedes's route with all the frog stuff. It's kind of funny how perspectives uh, shifts the character, where he seems like a a jerk in one route, and then a nice guy in another route. And with that, we're going to be calling it a night here. We actually made trackers on four chapters, not just uh, one, two or three. And let's see. I haven't read a blue in a while, so I'm going to bother him. He's playing through some Aonokiseki. He wants to see the Azure Tree really badly. So, I'm going to be streaming actually tomorrow because I'm going to be doing stuff on Thursday. So, I should probably start around 8.30 or 9 Eastern. I finished work a little early today, earlier tomorrow too. And we'll see how it goes. I'll definitely finish Mercedes the next time I stream. Unless I'm really, really exhausted for one reason or another. And with that, have a good night, everyone.
But I understand it now, at the very least. Mm -hmm. Can you give us more details? Constructor Schwarzer in the third year will enter the gate and stand. While on standby, they will explain their qualifications as you brief them on the use of the Arcus Two. Understood. Finally, we can begin the trial. Disciple candidate, don't dawdle. Everything must be up and running in ten minutes. Hang on a sec. I'm gonna ask you to run Oh, Christopher Corey Smith. Thank you, Nareen. Buggy. 